Hello, Maddie, aka Hello Interloper here, with another episode of The Unsung Heroes of Summoner's War. Today, we will talk about Taru, who is the Light Imp. Now, I know every Sunday, aka Light Day, everyone's screaming for Inagami and for Bear Man. The fact of the matter is, if you are a low level, you're probably not going to be able to farm that secret dungeon, even if you do get someone on your friends list with it simply because you need a lot of pieces for a three-star monster like Light Inagami or Light Bear Man. And remember, you only have an hour, and by most standards, uh, someone won't add you right on the hour as soon as they get it. They will probably not notice their friend's requests or maybe, you know, add you 20 minutes later while they're, you know, done with their secret dungeon themselves or something. So you you aren't going to get a lot of time. You're probably going to be able to farm 20 pieces if you're a low level and you need 20 more and then it's a pain in the butt. Now, however, Taru is a two-star monster, which means you only need 20 pieces from a secret dungeon and it, of course the secret dungeon will be a lot easier. So you can get Taru pretty darn easily. And um, he's actually very useful. If you are pretty early in the game, or maybe even mid-game, he can do a lot of damage simply because he's got a pretty decent skill set, and he has a high critical rate. Now, I don't have the best runes on him. I have Rage Blade on, however, which will be kind of hard to get if you are a lower level. Um, you can get some Rage Blade uh, things, you know, Blade is from Giants, you can get that easily. Rage, on the other hand, is from Necropolis, so you will most likely find Rage runes from the Magic Shop. You'll probably find some 3 star, 4 star ones that are pretty decent, but he definitely does best with Rage Blade because he has a very high crit rate and Rage multiplies the uh, crit damage. So I do have a crit rate of 59%, which isn't that high, Crit damage, 135%. Not really high by any means. I don't have expert runes on him. But he'll still be able to do quite a lot of damage. Now, as for his skills, I do have him fully skilled up, and he's very easy to scale up simply because imps are really easy to farm through secret dungeons. They're a constant drop from uh, unknown scrolls, and they pop up in the magic shop all the time. Holy Spear is his basic attack, and it basically bumps up his attack speed for two turns if you get a critical hit. Seeing that he has a very high critical rate, and also when he's awakened, um, he gets his third skill, which is wonderful. You know, uh, this will be pretty darn easy to trigger. So then his second skill is throwing a light ball, stun the enemy for one turn, which can be pretty useful in certain situations, especially uh, guild battles or arena early on. And his third skill, which is what he gets when he's awakened. This is really the game changer. It is a penetrating attack that has a 50% critical rate bonus, which means it pretty much will always crit if you have a high crit rate. And um, the nice part about this is that it ignores the enemy's defense. I know that the skill description is not really clear with that. It just says penetrates the enemy's guard. Not exactly the best translation or wording there, but he does ignore the enemy's H. Uh, sorry, defense. <laughs> ignores enemy's HP. I don't know what on earth that means. So, time to demonstrate little Teru here, because, you know, I did rune him up just for this video. And let's choose something uh, pretty easy. Let's go to Tulane Forest. Easy. Normal. Whatever. Simply because he is only a 4 star as of now, so uh, let's pair him up with stuff that's pretty easy. You know what, I'm going to put Theomars there so we get that critical rate buff. Just so I can show you uh, what his you know, crits really are like. Because if he did have better runes, if I put a little more care into it, I'd be able to see a little more of what he can do. Alright, so... Tyra is going first before Theomars. That's a surprise to me. But anyway, um, he is very fast to begin with. I'm going to start off by using Holy Spear. And I will just choose this guy. It did not 
I have a critical hit. I'm going to actually keep using that until I get a critical hit so we can get a good idea of what kind of damage he can do. Pew! 14k. Yeah, Th Theomars is really good. Um, Alright, let's get that critical hit. Oh, come on! Even with the critical hit boost. This is painful. Let's do it again. There we go. Now we got a critical hit. 4.8k. Not bad. Keep in mind that he's just a 4 star, so he's really not that up there. You know, as a uh, low level, 4.8k for a 4 star is pretty darn high. Alright, let's use Light Ball now, which throws a Light Ball and stuns the enemy for one turn. So, uh, how about the frog? Let's use it on you. And, ooh, critical hit. 5.7k. Not bad. Now, Theo Mars is going to do a crazy hit over here. Oh, god, it hit me for 95 damage. Whatever will I do? Whoa, that is some serious lag. Alright, so now for Furious Pierce. Let's break through some defense, shall we? And the 50% critical rate bonus means it's going to do a crit. Alright, how about, uh, the frog? Yeah. Alright, Furious Pierce, and... Ignore defense, 5.7k. That's really not that amazing. Uh, that can actually get a lot higher. And I will tell you, with the best runes, I've seen a 6-star Teru do 30k. 30k, which is really scary. I don't recommend 6-starring him, simply because he is really flimsy. He's squishy. He can get killed easily. But if he's really fast, you can probably take out um, some guys pretty quickly. Alright, so I'm guessing that the uh, the boss here will probably have a higher defense. Let's see if we can do a little more damage with uh, Furious Pierce. Oh, I'm not going to have a chance because the MR is going to kill him. Oh, bummer. Well, either way, that's the power of Teru. Although, um, if I did have him ruined with a lot more crit damage percent, that third skill would have done a lot more damage. So, definitely build him with high attack percent and crit damage. Um, you know, probably the reason why he didn't do spectacular damage on that third skill is because I don't have his uh, crit damage very high. If you see over here, it's only 135% probably want to get that more into the 200s if you want to start seeing some crazy damage on that third skill. And the nice part is you can use that to break through really high defense monsters like let's say uh, Talk and uh, Copper and Bernard sometimes has a lot of defense. This guy will be pretty useful early on in guild battles and uh, arena that sort of thing. Maybe not so much dungeon. Alright well anyway now you know who to go after early on uh, on Light Day. Maybe, you know, forgo the Belladion and the Amon and go for some Teru. Although, of course, if you're a higher level, Belladion and Amon will probably be a little more useful. Anyway, until next time.